Hey guys, welcome to Boston Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are looking at the technical test server and we're going in depth on all the changes that look like they might make it into the live game in the future. So let's go one by one. So of course all these myths are kind of uh, based on things that may change. So this may not be the final version. So this is not a kind of main Mythbuster episode, but of course we're going to treat it like that so you can actually get an idea of how things are going to be potentially in the future. And to also dispel some incorrect information that's already been put out. I've seen a lot of people in the comment section or on Reddit saying things that are incorrect. So let's start with cap can traps have no laser. So here's a cap can in the technical test server and the laser is entirely gone. No sign of a laser whatsoever. It is completely and utterly gone. I'm not too sure about this. I mean, would like there to still be a maybe a tiny laser or something, maybe when it's really short or something like that. But yeah, it's a major buff to cap can, I think. So that is confirmed. Cap can traps do a maximum damage of 40. So I've seen this in my comment section and I've seen this on Reddit, people claiming that they do 40 damage. Do they actually do 40 damage? So I found one. As I queue, I decided then to run over it and it does 60 damage. That's a lot. Like one of these taking off half your health, that's incredibly powerful. And of course it can kill people as the example here. So this is, I think really good. I was kind of expecting maybe 30, 40 damage when I first read about the news. The fact that it does 60. Now, I would say that I did go over one as Blitz, but my shield was facing the explosion, so that may have absorbed some of it and I took 40 damage. So it's possible maybe higher armor operators perhaps take less damage, but I presume this is more likely the shield. And anyway, we'll definitely be in more in depth with this in the future. However, the 40 damage myth is busted. They do 60 damage. Blitz runs faster. So Blitz can now run with his shield up in front of him, as you can see here. But is he actually faster than he was before? Like that was kind of the implication of what I read with the notes for the technical test server. It, it's only like he runs faster, but actually playing it, I was thinking, wait a minute, this might, feel faster but that may be a placebo effect so I decided to do this little run and then I went back and actually did it again on the current version of the game to see if Blitz is actually faster or if he's actually just the same speed but holds his shield up in front of him which of course is awesome. So here we go here's the split screen version we've got the new one the technical test server on the top and the old one on the bottom and you'll notice that they are going the same speed they really are. Here's one side by side and you can see that they are indeed going the same speed. So Blitz is not actually faster. He's the same speed. However, he is way more protected. So that's pretty awesome. So there you go, guys. That is kind of a quick look at the technical test error changes. It looks incredible. Like Capcom buff, I think is really, really huge. People would People do think that making a non-lethal trap is, is more of a nerf, but I think like giving him five of these traps and really being able to take off like more than half of an enemy's health as they move in, that is significant. And I think this is gonna be awesome for Capcan. And the blitz change is really cool too. Like I love that rush right into the room with Jaeger. You know, I set up the Capcan trap, but I got in there so quick that Jaeger couldn't really do anything and then I just shot him and freaking awesome. So really good buff for Blitz as well. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments below because maybe you're not happy with this whatsoever. Blitz runs like he's clenching his buttocks. So if you look at this gameplay, I don't know if the animations maybe gonna get worked in a little bit more, but it really does look like he's really clenching, like he really needs to go to the toilet or something when he uh, sprints with the shield. I think it's hilarious and I would love to just follow him for this little bit. Crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna say that's confirmed.